Very bright lights. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's a pleasure to talk to you about some experiences we have made in the German Quality Network Zepsis. And I want to start with introducing the Quality Network to you. It's a uh, quality collaborative uh, currently with almost 70 participating hospitals. And we have every kind of hospital. We have university hospitals, but we also have small rural hospitals with 150 beds. And we started in 2015 and were initially funded by the German Ministry of Education and Research. And t since 2019, we managed to uh, keep the work going with membership fees by the participating hospitals. And we have four core principles. We assess quality using administrative data. We are using quality reports to identify pop possible areas for improvement. Um, we offer the participating hospitals peer reviews, which means that qualified physicians and nurses visit another hospital, do chart reviews and discuss problems and solutions with the local clinicians. And we have a culture and structure for participatory action, which means members of the hospitals are the driving forces of this uh, collaborative, um, uh, providing ideas, providing educational materials. So I want to focus, since I'm a methodologist, uh, on a methodological lesson, and I hope I will not bore you with it. Um, why should you use administrative data to measure quality of care? And this is a lesson we learned about uh, already 10 years ago when we did a cluster randomized trial where we evaluated a multifaceted educational intervention. And part of this intervention was a benchmark of quality indicators. And uh, local clinicians in the 40 participating hospitals were asked to prospectively include every patient with sepsis and document clinical data on guideline adherence. And soon we discovered problems, especially for the small hospitals. This caused a high burden of documentation. They failed to include all patients. Sometimes you had uh, the physician in his night shift, including some patients every few days. And thereby we had a lacking validity of the quality reports. And over time, as you see in the figure, Many hospitals dropped out from this study um, because of this high burden of participation. So administrative data um, are used for billing of hospitals in the context of the German diagnosis-related group system, which means every hospital can export these data easily in a standardized format. And based on these data, we developed a quite complex system of uh, quality reports that allowed hospitals to uh, investigate different subgroups of patients with sepsis, to do benchmarking with other hospitals, and also to uh, monitor the improvements across time. Um, but we became somewhat suspicious on how valid these data actually are. And here you see a benchmarking chart with the dots representing mortality, and you see a large variation probably indicating we have good performing hospitals and bad performing hospitals. But at the same time, you see the bars which represent incidence of sepsis. And we have a much more than tenfold difference in incidence of sepsis between hospitals. And we thought this cannot be uh, explained based on clinical uh, reason. So we conducted a study for the first time uh, with more with a multi-center validation study in Germany with 10 hospitals to assess the validity of the administrator, uh, ad administrative data um, for doing quality management of sepsis care. And how did we do this? We took the information that was present in administrative data, so mostly ICD-10 codes or procedure codes, and we had uh, 
um, qualified study physicians who then went into patient charts and looked into the charts for the respective uh, information. So they identified patients with sepsis, they identified risk factors for mortality and so on. And we analyzed more than 10,000 charts. Um, and here is what we found out. First you see in the left hand diagram the sensitivity of ICD-10 codes and administrative data to identify patients with sepsis. Overall we had 34% sensitivity which means of the true sepsis cases that were identified in the charts only one third received a sepsis code in administrative data. And you see we have a large variation regarding sensitivity between hospitals from 10% to up to 60%. And if we looked on the patients who received an ICD-10 code for sepsis, we see the majority truly had sepsis, more than 80%. So we have predominantly a problem of undercoding of sepsis, not of overcoding. So what results from this? If we look at the incidence, the overall incidence by chart review was 3.3% among all hospital admissions. If we would estimate incidence based on ICD-10 codes, we would only result in 1.4% incidence. And you see in the graph uh, the correlation between information from charts and from uh, administrative data, from the coding, and Comparing these hospitals, you see the uh, coded information has only little correspondence with the information in the charts. This gets even worse if we consider hospital mortality. Based on the ICD-10 codes, we had an overall hospital mortality among cases with sepsis of 42%, which is really high. And uh, based on the chart reviews, we had 28%, which quite well corresponds to where New York State has started some years ago. And again, if you look at the charts, the left-hand chart, you see we have almost no correlation between uh, the uh, hospital um, mortality based on chart review and on coding. The right-hand chart shows you the same, but adjusted for risk factors. Again, risk factors as documented in the charts, in the patient charts, and compared to risk factors documented in administrative data. And you see you have no correlation anymore. So based on administrative data, if you have a hospital showing a high hospital mortality, based on this information, you cannot be sure if it is really a bad performing hospital. So our lessons learned were on the one hand, prospectively gathering data on sepsis care is too burdensome for most hospitals without reimbursement. At the same time, administrative data in Germany are currently not valid to measure quality of care or to conduct epidemiological surveillance. So um, the message is quality initiatives should implement methods to assess the validity of their data especially if they use administrative or routine data. And these results are also highly relevant uh, for a mandated quality assurance of sepsis in Germany, since also mandated quality assurance heavily relies on administrative data in Germany. So how did we proceed from this? Um, first, we want to improve the German ICT-10 for sepsis coding. So we requested with a panel of experts to add more ICD-10 codes, sepsis-related ICD-10 codes, especially to allow to code sepsis by viruses, by parasites, and by fungi, and also to dif uh, having codes that dif uh, differentiate between sepsis present on admission and acquired during the hospital stay. Within our quality initiative, we started to develop a manual and tutorials to improve awareness, documentation, and coding of sepsis. So we want to achieve better data within our quality initiative. 
And finally, we need in Germany to implement electronic health records in all hospitals, including normal wards, so that we have more clinically um, rich data to conduct um, analysis on epidemiology and quality of care for sepsis. So, thank you very much and Thank you.